Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 in Budapest, Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Enrica Podkari, who is the Director of Technology and Chief Information Officer at the World Food Program and the Chair of UNETC, the Emergency Telecommunications Cluster. Enrica, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So I'd like to start off by talking about meaningful connectivity, very much the buzzword here at uh, ITU Telecom World. What is meaningful connectivity and why is it so important? So in the environment where we operate, in the uh, um, humanitarian and development world, uh, imagine uh, a crisis strikes a country that um, where connectivity or communication is completely um, the, dismantled by, by a crisis. Um, a hurricane hits, uh, like recently in the Bahamas, previously, you know, earlier this year in Mozambique. Um, communications is vital. It's not only meaningful, it's, it's vital, it's essential for humanitarians to be able to respond efficiently and effectively and for the affected populations to have access to what, they can, what is the lifeline for them to be able to communicate with humanitarians, to know what the damages are, but also to communicate with their loved ones to, to say that they are fine, that they are, that they are safe. So that's the meaningful part, essentially. That's absolutely. Human yeah. to human communication. Human to human communication. communication. So it, it provides a meaning to, to the response. Okay, great. And what is the role of uh, the UN Emergency Telecommunications Cluster in the digital ecosystem? So the cluster is one of the 11 mandated clusters by the UN that provides a framework for uh, coordination in a humanitarian response. Uh, so the Wolf program is the lead of the uh, of the cluster on emergency telecommunications, um, together with uh, being also the lead on uh, on logistics and co-lead on food security. It relies on the strength that the Wolf Food program has in these areas. And what we do, we provide uh, a framework to coordinate across the humanitarians to be able to respond um, efficiently and effectively, very fast. Um, in case of an emergency. So we coordinate the interventions around uh, providing um, effective and meaningful communications to both responders and affected communities in case of disaster. Now, I understand there's a, a signing going on uh, here, a charter being signed here at ITU Telecom. Well, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about it? Uh, absolutely. So the Crisis Connectivity Charter, which was uh, originally signed in 2015, um, sees today the joining of uh, ITU uh, at the Charter that was uh, started by UN OCHA and the World Food Program as the lead of the emergency telecoms clusters and was joined by a number of satellite providers uh, that have generously come forward and provide a framework for coordination but also donating equipment, um, free um, uh, connectivity in case of emergency. So it provides a, a, a framework and, an, and, and equipment, a training capacity to be able to respond fast in case of an emergency. So um, currently the, the joining of, uh, of ITU today is, uh, is a huge milestone because it provides us the opportunity to not only have operational capabilities, but also have um, meaningful contacts with uh, connections with uh, governments to facilitate the importation of equipment, uh, but to also uh, support the governments in their preparedness activities. To make preparedness is really the secret sauce of a successful response. Um, and building the capacity of governments and building the, the legal uh, framework to be able to communicate efficiently and fast after an emergency is really what the Charter is all about. So uh, the Crisis Connectivity Charter uh, will really have a, a major role in responding to natural disasters such as uh, the currently one in the, in the, in the Bahamas? Absolutely. Um, it has already had a, a huge impact. Um, I, the, the Connectivity Charter was first activated in, the, in, the, in Mozambique earlier this year. Um, where we were able, through pre-positioned equipment, to be on the ground after just a few days uh, after the, 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 the cyclone, be able to provide uh, connectivity that was, that was essential to a response, but also to the uh, affected populations. Starting with Mozambique, um, currently within Bahamas, uh, within one day of the uh, of the uh, of the event, we were on the ground, equipment was on the ground, and connectivity was restored. Meaningful, essential, that that it works. That's wonderful. And finally, what's what's the value of attending events for you, such as uh, ITU Telecom World? 
Well, today is particular because uh, we're very uh, pleased to see ITU joining our charter. Um, but joining the events of this is, uh, like this gives us an opportunity both to, uh, to thank the, the partners that join us in these efforts, but also to, uh, to provide an opportunity to showcase that when private sector, public sector, governments come together, there is really a meaningful uh, conversations happening and, and action. Enrico Picari, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio and we look forward to catching up with you again soon. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.